Hey guys, so we went for a shopping trip to Gunwolf Keys the other day and we kind of just wanted to go down and take a look at some stuff because Sarah has never been to Portsmouth, really, even though it's right nearby. Yeah, we live pretty close to Portsmouth and I've been living here, what, like six, no, more than six years now, must be seven, six, six years, I think, I'm in <laughs> or eight, I can't remember. It's but about eight, I think. Eight? Eight, yeah, 2008, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. 2008 and we moved to Southampton. And I haven't really left Southampton, so like because I now have a license, we've been cruising around the neighbourhood, checking out all these places that yeah. just, you've never been to. No, so we went to Winchester and Gunwolf, and it's an outlet shopping. It's set out very similar to how American outlets are, which I really liked it. And I wasn't sure what I was going to find, but we what bought I did a bunch find of stuff. Yeah. was some bargains, which we're going to show you now. What should we should we go in the order of the shops we went into? If you can remember the order of the I shops. I can remember we the order of <laughs> okay. the shops we went into. So the first shop we went into is... Pronounce it for me. Isn't it Le Croisette? Le, Cro Le Croisette. Honestly, not too sure on it. We should have looked this up before it's, we started. It's basically the place that does those really expensive but really useful pans. You know the ones that people like make casserole or like chili in? That shop, you know that orange, like a... I say ombre, what do you call it? Like a gr gradient. Gradient. Um, so it's that shop. So we were looking for, this is like, you know when you're getting older and you get excited about home things? Yeah. Well, we got very excited about home things. So do you want to show your favourite from this shop? Yes. Yeah. Is... We needed some for a while and we managed to pick up the salt and pepper shakers. Matching, obviously. We'll get two the same. And they're really good grinders and we've needed them for forever. And we just kind of have needed them for ages. We were using a terrible IKEA one that was really naff, all of the just grains like just kept falling straight out without being properly ground and now we can have properly ground salt and pepper, which is such a sad thing to be excited about, but whatever, who cares? And they came in some really horrible colours as well, didn't they? Um, I'm not saying like I'm just judging her, but I kind of was. There was a lady in there at the same time who was buying a baby pink one and a white one, and I was like... Hmm. I feel like that doesn't go together. I mean, red's like, okay, I wanted the blue, but... Happy with red, it's a little bit more traditional and it goes with my slow cooker, so you know, matchy matchy. <laughs> and they give you this really big bag, so if you're not sure of the brand, it's this one. <laughs> and we've got something else as well, because um, obviously it's out there, everything's reduced. Oh, there are things in here that were not from the outlet. <laughs> right, let's put that down. And again, staying on the homeware theme of being really exciting, we got. Haven't even opened it. No, we haven't opened it. We've got a nice it. utensil pot. Because the one we ha currently have is from like Ikea and it costs like a pound. So I was like, let's be fancy. And it reminds me of like um, old, you know, farm kitchens. And it's cream, so it doesn't match the, the salt and pepper shaker, but... It matches the hand mixer that we have, so <laughs> it matches something. things to appliances, even though the appliances don't match each other, it's fine. But now that we've got this, we can actually use it. And I think it's a bit bigger than the one we have. Yeah, because hopefully. Because we struggled to put all of our random spoons in the other one, so <laughs> this should be good. So that's what we got from there. Um, but yeah, I really like that shop. If I'm like more into cooking, I can understand you like it a lot more mm. than I do. I really like all their pans. They're just very, very expensive. So we'll start small with some of the smaller things. And the next shop we went to, we actually went to the one in Winchester, which wasn't an outlet, although they did have a sale on, but it wasn't as good. No. And that was the White Company. Um, I really like just the white company stuff. If you don't know what the white company is, it's basically a shop that sells loads of white things. However, Ash probably found the only not white thing in the whole, whole shop. Do you want to show this first? Yes, uh, I decided to buy myself a nice new towel because it's a giant towel. It's huge. It's ridiculous. Oh God, let me hold up this side. You're not even going to be able to it's really like see it. It's like a bath it's, sheet. It's insane. It's like We, uh, can, we can like wrap up, wrap up, come on, wrap up in it. We could both share it. I don't want to share it with you. Why? It's 180 centimetres by 115 centimetres it and well. it's really soft. I mean, for one person, this towel is a little bit ridiculous. But feel how soft it is. It is pretty soft. It could do for a bit of a wash just because it's like new and I think they get extra soft once you put them like, I don't know. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's the biggest towel I've ever seen in my life. I just really like big towels. Well, well yeah, you, you got a big towel. That, you know, that's I mean, the BFG's towel. And then you got small bits, and I got lots of bits. I did. Oh, I also picked up some white geranium bath salts because they smell amazing. Do they smell? 
Ooh. Yeah, and they were only five pounds for a giant bag because it was on seventy percent off. How much so did you get it for? I guess enough that seventy percent off is five pounds. It doesn't say on the back. It doesn't say on the back. It was uh, an amount of money. All the mathematicians out there, do the maths. Seventy percent. I'd probably do it to be fair, but that's you know. I'm too tired to do the maths, so it's I'm too not late going in, to. In the evening, but, but it smells I'm... amazing, and I'm really excited for those. I am. Um, did a me and just bought candles, mm. lots of candles. Good candles. Do you know what? Though. I'm gonna open them now because some of them I didn't even get a chance to open. I just went with it. Went, went with my gut. <laughs> right, let's open this one. This one is, which is enough. Oh, um, what's that? White Pompelmo. And fresh uplifting. Don't know what that is. What well, white Pompelmo fresh and uplifting scented candle. Let's open this one. What do you smell like? Because I forgot, or I didn't know, and I just went for it. No, we knew what this one smelled like. They did have one of these open. This is the one you like. This is the one I really like. Well, I hope I've got the right one. I want to open you. I'm just going to hold it for you so okay. you can open it up. Ooh, right. Let's pull this out. Oh, that smells so strong. It's so good. Oh, I like the little top. It says White Company. I don't really know what that smells like. I mean, it obviously smells like what it says it smells like, but I don't know what that is as a fragrance. It's like... It's like uh, a smoother, fruitier grapefruit, is the way I'm describing it. Like, very sort of citrusy and light and fresh. And really it reminds like me of when you go to hotels, like really fancy hotels, what their bathrooms smell like. You know, you mm. can like... Like, it's fresh, but yeah, like fruity. Nice I like the packaging as well. It's white, obviously, so I'll put that back. I didn't stop at one candle. Oh no, because that would be like a normal person. I got more. This I didn't open, and because they didn't have any open. But I was like, I like the sound of that. It's called pine cone, and it's juniper, pine cone, and eucalyptus, and it's a home scenting kit. I'm not really sure what that includes. But it says on the back. Oh, okay. It says on the back. It's home spray, tea lights, and a scent diffuser. Let's so see. we better like it because our entire house is going to smell like this from now on. No, this is going to be Christmas. Pine cone? Is, is pine cones not Christmas? I don't know. I mean, I guess so, but it's going to depend how this smells. Like, whether this smells Christmassy enough for you. I already have a pine cone candle. Wow, that's in my mouth. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I already have a pine cone candle, which I got from Joe Malone. <laughs> so this will just add to my pine cone candle collection. Oh. <laughs> Well, then all of them. <laughs> right. Oh wow, that smells so much like Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, it smells like the tree, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really strong with pine cone. I mean, I didn't really know pine cone had a fragrance until now. That's really good though. I like that it's a lot. Piney. Got some reeds for the diffuser. Warning, take off the metal cap. Oh, off the pot, not off the reeds. <laughs> I was like, where's the metal cap? Yeah, and four little tea lights. I can't hold this up or okay. it's gonna fall out, I think. So we've got, what is this? That's the room spray. Ooh, I don't know. It's spray not the spicy enough for me. It's nice good, in it would be. That is a good Christmas bathroom scent. Yes, done. We've got the tea light smell. Yeah, so we've got, you've got better than the best of both worlds, really. You've got tea mm. lights, you've got a diffuser, you've got a room spray, and that was like, Silly cheap. And like the time of the year I like to use candles most is Christmas because Christmas candles are like the best thing ever. And I've heard of the White Company's winter candle before, which they had there, they had the big one. It was giant, it was a giant candle. But like, I have a lot of candles that smell like that. So we went for one a little bit different. It's really heavy. This one is called White Christmas and it's Neroli, Almond and Frankincense. Look at the size of this, it's 50% off. So it was £50 and I got it for £25, which I think is a bargain. Could have got two for the price of a whole one, which does make sense because it's 50% off. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally how that works out. <laughs> two for one is what I could have got. I really, two. really like Neroli as a scent lately. I think it's really good. It's really hard to describe because it's just... Neroli. Yeah, it's kind of its own thing. But I think it goes really nicely with the frankincense and it's, this is a different sort of this is a different sort of Christmas candle to the ones that we actually have already. You've got like sort of very dark, very spicy, kind of this very, nice. very cinnamon smelling candles. And we've got a lot of that sort of genre, but this is a nice wintry, but not heavy Ooh, fragrance. Smell that. 
Yeah, I really like it. It's that. a really it's a four wick candle, which is massive, and I really like the pot it comes in. And it's really good. Like the, if you haven't smelt any of the white can, the white company Oh my god, there's so many mouthfuls of words. It's if you really haven't awkward. smelt the white company candles, I recommend you go into the white company to smile that smile smell that <laughs> candles. <laughs> because they're really good. And um, especially when they've got a sale on. So or you go to an outlet, which is like a few more ways of sale. But yeah, definitely check it out. They do some really, really nice smelling stuff. And their clothes are nice as well. I like their clothes. And their towels. Their towels are amazing. Yeah, and their cushions. Nice. We like their cushions we as do. well. We do. And their homewares. Just basically go to the white company. It's really It's good. worth it. If you're an adult. Kids might not find it as fun because there's no bright colours. <laughs> Although there was a giant polar bear that I really wanted to buy, but it was for children. Okay, so next we went to like... I mean, I didn't know this shop was here. Or I'd have gone to Gunwharf a long time ago. They have a lint outlet. Just let that sink in for a second. Lint outlet. I like lint chocolate, but it specially had lots of Lindor, which is my favourite lint chocolate. So obviously, I spend a lot of money. As you do. As you always do. Yes. Quite a bit. Oh. Um, so what did we get? Well, to start with, um, because I'm a master chocolatier, I got oh, the receipt. I got an apron which says master chocolatier. So when I'm making my at home um, chocolate or brownies or anything chocolatey, I can pretend that I'm uh, I assume it's Swiss, a Swiss chocolatier working in the mountains making extremely good chocolate. When actually I'm in my kitchen making like a premix from Asda. <laughs> but it's a really nice chocolate brown, obviously, apron with gold lettering on it. It's actually a really nice apron. Like, I did need an apron as well, so it wasn't just like, well, it was an impulse, but like it. It was something we kind of needed, so. Then I picked up some Classica. No, this in English. Uh, what I'm assuming, oh, it is. It's a hot chocolate, a, a lint hot milk chocolate drink. So I assume it's a hot chocolate sachet made of lint chocolate. And there's quite a few sachets in here, I think. There's five. There's five sachets in here. That is, that is a number <laughs> that is, is written in number forms. So I can read that. Five sachets. I kind of got really into my like fancy hot chocolates recently. Like after I got the ones from Harrods last year, I'm mm. like all about that speciality hot chocolate game. So I'm excited to try these. I hope they're really chocolatey. I don't think they're gonna look like the picture because the picture looks like um, Angel Delight. It looks like actual chocolate pudding in there, so I have no idea what that actually I'm is. I'm expecting chocolate pudding, otherwise this is false advertising. Although that'd be weird hot, wouldn't it? We'll see how it, we'll see how it turns out. So um, they had an offer on. If you spend, you got discount anyway. But if you spent over ten pounds, you got a free little box of Lindor, the original, which are my favourite. Um, so I got two of them because I've eaten one of them. However, I managed to spend a lot. They have a pick a mix, a lint. Pick a mix. Um, so how much did I spend in the pick a mix with 30% off? 11 pounds. <laughs> but wait until you see it. It's like the best thing ever. Look how many chocolates I've got. Ooh, they had some like specialty flavors. So I got like two or three of each to try them. And there's like strawberry. Strawberries and cream, like caramel. There's a there's purple like a Coconut one. one. There's, there's like a special truffle one. There's lots and lots of flavors that you can't get or you can get but you have to get them in the big packs and maybe mm. i don't want a big pack what if i don't like them so i've got there's a caramel there's a coffee one dark chocolate white chocolate all different ones basically it's coconut so i've got these to try them all and 11 pounds is a lot but that's a lot of lindor that's pretty that's quite a lot of lindor and i got to pick which ones i wanted so that's really cool and there's a little lindor heart at the top for you because i love you Aww. Um and you paid for one of my eleven pound sets so I could get two boxes of chocolate, so <laughs> I appreciate that. So that's all we got from Lynn. Now I promised myself, kind of, that when we did our like Christmas sale body shop haul, that I didn't need to buy anything from the body shop for quite some time. I'm good. I don't need shower gels for like ever. Um but then the body shop had an outlet. So of course we bought some stuff in the body shop. I mean, this is the size of my bag. That's a heavy bag. And Ash has another bag. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I like the body shop. I like, 
I'll have to say, I think my favourite skin care, I don't know, but like... I think they're definitely mine. They're, they're up there. Um, however, they always do really good deals and some really unusual fragrances, so like I'm always drawn in. Mm. And also by buying this, I've now got a five pound voucher, so I'm obviously gonna go spend more money. It's a vicious cycle body shop, I know what you're doing. Um, but they haven't got the scrub in that I keep wanting, so that's annoying, so I have to go find that somewhere. Oh. But we're gonna go through all the things we picked up and kind of why we picked them up. Most of mine was because it was cheap. <laughs> but Ash actually picked some things up he quite liked. The way it worked at the outlet was if you bought four products, you got 40% off, I think 30. it was. No, yeah, 40% off. And then if you bought three, you got 30 and two was 20, I think. Something like that. Something was that, along yeah. that. So they made these like yeah, pre-set little sets of random stuff. And we searched around, I found this one which is one of my favorite scents that they do. It's the Fijian Water Lotus. And I've got now the body lotion, the shower gel, which I've got two of, and then the eau de toilette of that. Um, not sure that I'll use much of the body lotion, but I really love the shower gel of this. It's such a unique fragrance. It's like lightly floral, but not overly floral. And I really like it. It's really kind of clean and refreshing, which is exactly what I want from a shower gel. And I found that I actually had a bottle of these in the cupboard that I hadn't used yet, so I gave you mine. Because as I said, my bot my cupboard is literally full of waiting to be used shower gels, and this was one of them, so you got that now. Okay, and the last thing I got from the body shop is the Seaweed Deep Cleansing Gel Wash. This was actually recommended to me by my good friend Sophie, who you might remember from our Thought Park video. And it is great. It's literally like my favourite face wash that I've ever used. I really like it, it's really good, it's really effective. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to using it because I haven't been able to use this in a while. It's usually, I think it's about like eight pounds, 10 pounds, something in that yeah, region. Yeah, it seems quite a lot. Which is why I kind of haven't had it in a while. So buying it at the outlet at 40% off was really good because I'm excited to get back to using this and get my face looking good again. I like the new packaging for this one. It's a bit more refined. Yes, but I, I really like this one and I definitely recommend this one as a face wash. It smells kind of interesting. <laughs> Quite strong. Oh, it's, it's alright. It could be worse. It's not tea tree, which is it's, like one of my least favourite smells. It's not really designed for its scent. It's more to be effective and it's really good at cleaning your face, which is I, what it's I what need. It's what you to want. Do. It's yeah. what you need. What okay. I need. My turn! I didn't spend that much. No. I just spent some. So I got this one, which is. Um, oh, look! Four shower gels. <laughs> yeah, they're all shower gels. So I got two of the pinnacle. So I got two of the Pina Colada ones because it's such a good fragrance and it's limited edition. So I was like, well, I might as well stock up while they still have it in stock. Cause I really wanted to get the scrub of it and they just, you can't get it anywhere. I've got the sorbet and I've still got the shower gel, but like now I have three. So, you know, for all those times when I want to smell like Pina Colada. And it's also got a sheer butter and a coconut. So very summery ones. Um, so I probably should start using these because summer's pretty much over. <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm really excited. And they were like 10 pounds for four. Come on now, that's like, you can't, 250 each. It's a pretty good deal. That's a good deal, which I bought into. <laughs> um, so, I, so we just finished off. I was talking about how I had three of the Pina Colada shower gels and I already had the Sorbet already and I'm very excited to use them. And actually a fragrance I really liked from last year was the Virgin Mojito. And for that, I got the cream and the sorbet. Oh, what do I have in my hand? Oh, another pina colada shower gel and another pina colada sorbet and a mojito body butter and a mojito body sorbet. Well, I'm fine forever. Like, I, I think I would generally be able to hand these down to my children. Like, do you want to smell like pina colada children? Because back in my day, I bought <laughs> all of them. Um, and yeah, so I, basically, if you want to know what I smell like for the next four years, it'd be pina colada which is not a bad thing, but I didn't realize I bought that many. It just, the sale shopping got a bit overwhelming. I got more things. I call these a shower poof. I'm pretty sure that's the right name. What does it say on here? It says bath lily. I'm, wow. I'm gonna call it a shower poof. Um, I like the body shop ones because they come in really cool colors and they're There's like- There's a nice orange. Really scrunchy. Cause I think after a while they start to um, not be scrunchy. So you have to replace them. You've got one somewhere. That I, I do, you. it's in my shower. Yeah, use that, they're good. Did I need that much more body shop stuff? No, but I got it discounted, which is a really bad cycle because it would actually have been cheaper if I just didn't buy it. 
It would have been. But that's not really how we roll. That's not how we roll. <laughs> no, we just buy stuff. So that's everything I got from the body shop. If you haven't smelt any of those fragrances, like Pina Colada, probably not Virgin Mojito anymore, because it's being discontinued, which is kind of why I bought that set, even though I still have both of those things pretty much for. I really liked Gun Wolf, actually. It was, it was nice. It was really nicely laid out. We went when it was sunny, and because it's outside, mostly, it was really nice to walk about. Uh, there's a van shop there as well, which reminded me of like Florida a little bit, but the prices didn't, so. <laughs> Same with Levi's. But it's really cool. I've been really enjoying spending days out, so I'm hoping we can do some more of those soon. Probably spend more money on things we don't need. But that's kind of the fun of days out, is spending money that you don't have on things you don't need for those days that you might need it. So uh, I think that's everything for our haul, unless you can think we've got anything else. Uh, no, I don't think we bought anything else. Which is a surprise. <laughs> But thank you for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.